Stefano Dino here. Today I will show you how to make a new recording using DSP4 version 5. So the new project, DSP4 will open an untitled project. Just click on the uh, plus button on the road audio input recorders. DSP4 will show you a warning dialog uh, saying that uh, the new record input recorder module will be muted. To avoid unwanted audio feedbacks on output, I will explain you better later. And then it switched to the mixer view, where you can see a new uh, channel strip, that is the channel strip of the new input recorder. At the moment I have uh, a microphone connected to input channel 1 of my audio interface. You can decide which kind of uh, input ports of your interface are you going to uh, to use to make a new recording. Um, I can decide uh, the name of uh, the new recording. TV test. And uh, if the new recorder will be stereo or mono. And if mono, you can mix the left and ch right channels. You can record only the left channel or record only the right channel. And the beat depth of the new uh, audio file that is going to, uh, to be recorded. Then, to start the new recording, just click on the standby button. And uh, the new recording will start as soon as you will push the play button. So, one, two, three, four. To finish your recording, just click on the stop button. The speaker will go on pause and then click on the rack, standby, to close the recording. Uh, DSP4 warns you about the fact that uh, the recording at the moment is only a temporary file. So if you wish to keep it, you have to click on this save button. Otherwise you can just uh, redo a recording if uh, there was some mistake. If I click on save, DSP4 just added a new file inside the audio file list and double click on the new recording to see it. And of course, you can play it. One, two, three, four. Now the obvious question is to know where is this new recording. So the new recording is inside the project bundle. And uh, for this, you have, uh, if you wish to keep uh, your new recording, you must save the project. Uh, if you wish to use the, this new recording outside the project, you have just to export the audio file. It's easy to do that. Just drag it on the finder where you wish and the SP4 will create a new file that is uh, exactly the copy of uh, your current recording. Otherwise, just use uh, the export button on the top of the audio file row or use the export function that are available from uh, the audio editor. From here you can also choose several audio formats, WAV, IFF, MP3, or FLAC, or MPEG4, which DSP4 will use to export the audio file to the finder. Okay, I think that it is now for this time. Um, please stay tuned on this YouTube channel for the next tutorial. Thank you very much.